Hello, Mr. Tornholm here with another Tinker Lab tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about STEM science, technology, engineering, Minecraft? That's right, today we're going to be using Minecraft to build a scale model of something. So let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to be using two tools. We're going to be using Google Earth and Minecraft. Now, many of you might not have thought as Minecraft as a tool that you can use, but it's actually a great platform to make some scale models of something. Uh, really simple to use. A lot of you are already accustomed to playing Minecraft, so uh, you'll know what to do. Um, but uh, you say, how do we get the scale model? How do we know how... How, how what to use for measurements well i looked it up and it just so happens that one block in minecraft happens to represent one meter so we can measure something in meters and know if it's 30 meters long that'll be 30 minecraft blocks and it'll be roughly to scale and i don't think minecraft's a perfect tool but uh it does a pretty good job of making a scale model. So how do we find out how big something is? Well, we're going to use Google Earth for this. And right here I've brought up my Google Earth and you can you can launch Google Earth right from a web browser. Just type in googleearth.com and it's going to bring you this up. And today I've searched for Williamsburg and I think we're going to start making a scale model of the Williamsburg Elementary School. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Too far here. Yes, let's get that. You here rotated a little bit. Okay, so I've got aerial view of Mary Welsh Elementary here. So let's let's start figuring out how to measure the school. Well, Google Earth has a nice little tool right here. Measure, distance, and area. So if you click on that, it's going to let you select a point. So you're going to select your starting point. I'm going to set it right on as close as I can to the edge of the building here. And then we can drag that all the way to the end of the other side of the building. Looks like we've got a hundred, 181. Ooh, we'll hit escape to get that. Okay. Well, it went away when I hit escape. We had 181 meters. Just so double check. Always good to double check your measurements. Measure twice, cut once. They always say, right? 100. And, I got around 181, 182 meters. We'll just round that out to 182 meters. Okay, so with that in mind, we know the length, uh, the core part of this building here. It's basically, it's going to be this area right here. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Minecraft. I've just got a flat world here in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay, so I got, I know this, the side of the building of Mary Welsh. It's kind of a, a tan colored brick along with some... Um, red bricks kind of in between so I've got tan brick and red brick selected and we'll just start doing that now it's 182 blocks we said so let's go ahead and start laying down our blocks and we'll call that good for the sake of this video I'm not gonna count out the blocks just yet because that would take a little more time but you get the idea you'd want to come back after you laid them down one two three blocks four etc all right so we know how long it is now now we need to get a measurement for how wide so let's get back to google earth and still got our ruler or measure distance area selected so let's find the width this area right here so let's select here 
and drag down here. There, I got 25 meters rounding down. Okay, so we'll go back to Minecraft. Now we know our width here. So going back, going back this way is going to be 25 blocks. 25 blocks. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. Throw a little more in. Some curious. Uh, it's like, all right. 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 2, 3, 5. Okay, so there's our width. Now we just need to come back down the length again. And we already know we don't have to measure that again. We'll just use the other side that we. Remember, that was 182, I believe. So, again, I'm not going to count these out today, but we'll pretend, bam, that's 182 right there. Okay, now we can come back to the other side and fill out the other, other corner. So, that's a rectangular building, so we know it is going to be the same on this end as it was the other end. There. there we go. Smash those up. Okay, then, like I said, uh, this building happens to be tan with some red brick in it. So we would then go ahead, switch to our red brick. Start like that up. Start. Basically like that. Okay. Whoops, I must have been flying a little bit. Anyhow, well we could put another layer of red in there. Anyhow, you're starting to get the idea the shape of our building is taking place. And we've laid the foundation to scale right now because we used Google Earth here to measure length width of this part of the building so moving forward you would go ahead and build out the rest of your building um back each time so you got this part done say we wanted to build uh, this bigger area here we would just go ahead and find the distance of that and this is where you got to use a little math because you got to remember your measurements it'd be a good idea to write these down as you went um, so we knew that was 25 for the narrow part. And this is 43. That would mean you'd have to add 10 on each side. 20, 30, 40. Yes, have to add 10 more blocks on each side, right? To get that square a little bigger. Okay, well, that's all for this tutorial. Um, I'll let you get started with that. Again, that's Google Earth. Um, go to any browser. You can use Google Earth. And use the measure tool to measure the width, length, or even the area of any building. And then using Minecraft, that's one block is equal to one, one meter. So there's your scale model right there. All right, that's all I have for today. Have a good day.